Welcome to today's episode of Ashling's Holistic Health Show. Today I have a very special guest coming all the way from the Netherlands and her name is Leslie Van O. I'm going to keep it at that because I'll let Leslie tell me the rest of that pronunciation. Um, so I have been following Leslie's work for a while now and I was just really curious to hear about her journey and she has recently been a co-author of the book that's out, The Time to Rise, and she's going to be sharing all about that today and really all of her journey uh, to now. So I'm really excited to get to know Leslie a bit more myself and also to introduce you to Leslie's work. And so you're referred to as the awakening dentist. Yes. Yeah. So that was probably the thing that really piqued my curiosity when I saw your work. And yeah, so can you just explain what that means and, and how you became the awakening dentist? I sure will. But first, I want to thank you for letting me uh, on your show. Thank you very much. We've been friends for a while and I love your work. And uh, the awakening dentist, well, uh, I've been a dentist for the last 20 years. And um, I have known for the last 10 years, which was my journey, that uh, we come from source. And we're not just bodies, uh, we are souls in a body. And what does this have to do with dentistry? Well, uh, when you know this, when you come to know this fact, you know that, um, uh, for instance, when people have bleeding gums, mm -hmm. uh, it's not only because, you know, there might be too much plaque in between the teeth, but they might experience a problem on uh, a different level. I hope I'm clear. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, by awakening, I mean that uh, I know there's more between heaven and earth. Yeah. And I use this knowledge every day. Mm -hmm. a, pe uh, a person is not just, you know, there's not just a tooth lying in my chair. Mm -hmm. There's a whole person connected to this tooth. Yeah. Or, or the tooth is connected to the person. So once you know this, you can do more as a dentist than only drill and fill. Yeah. I yeah. drill. I drill and fill the soles also. Wonderful. And it's very unusual because I feel, you know, for me, I suppose my experience with dentistry, going to the dentist, it's just very much mechanical. It's just very physical. Um, so I suppose my work from studying nutrition and coming at the body from a physical level, I always felt there was way, way more to my experience than I could, could tap into. I didn't know what that was, but that was what kind of led me into the work that I'm doing now. So again, like the depth of what you're bringing is, I think, really where we're moving into, like a new paradigm yes. that we're moving into. And it just takes a few people like yourself to be pioneers of this and actually to bring it out and deliver this information, this very valuable message into the world. Yes, very much. Yes. Mm. Because so, yeah, give me like maybe an example um, of like what you're saying, somebody's coming in with like bleeding gums, like what could be potentially, I know obviously there's probably different reasons for that, but like what you're saying, there's other reasons, not just say plaque or, you know, the physical things that are happening. Well, stress, stress is one of the most common uh, causes of bleeding gums. Well, you know, um, uh, even when they've cleaned well in between the teeth and mm -hmm. the gums are still bleeding, uh, you know, I sometimes uh, ask, or sometimes I often ask, uh, how, how's your private life? How, how are you doing in life? How do you feel? Yeah. And sometimes I can see tears come out of their eyes and I, I go like, just please cry. Cry. You can cry in my office. You know, yeah. it helps to 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 relax mm -hmm. and then usually it comes out well uh, you know uh, my kids are in puberty I they are hard to handle uh, my marriage is going uh, bad you know all mm -hmm. these things yeah because the cortisols in your body they um, 
accumulate and uh, you know blood vessel walls they you know they uh, are um, uh, infected by this affected by this you know yeah. so uh, that's why you have these bleeding gums well wow. so not, so as a dentist I do not just check I don't check whether you have cavities I check whether you've cleaned well, if your life goes well, you know, that's, I'm not after your bad stuff, I'm after the good stuff. Yeah, 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 very much. But that's so different because it's like, yeah, you're seeing, I suppose, the relationship between the teeth are not separate to a person, they're integral in that whole person's life and their whole experience and it's just, it's a part of that person. Very, very much. Teeth yeah. are an expression of your consciousness. Mm, that's amazing and yeah that's just fascinating to me because you know many years ago I started a campaign about fluoride in the water the adding of fluoride to the tap water in Ireland and you know like that I was purely seeing everything just from the physical like the you know the, the material realm really yeah and and now like seven eight years on I'm just seeing everything you know, like we're, we're just seeing a tiny, uh, like minute amount of how to treat cavities or how to, you know, prevent different things in our health. But it's like, there is way, way more um, to that. There's so much more depth to that yeah. than just what we're doing physically, because I think we're missing out a huge part of the picture yes. um, and not really probably even aware, I suppose, what you're bringing into your practice and, you know, with your work is huge levels of awareness, which is just, you know, it, it is, that's what begins, I suppose, that process, like that journey that you've taken, I suppose. Um, can you kind of bring us back to a time where, like, you trained in dentistry, like, you know, conventional dentistry. Did yeah. you, did you have these kind of inclinations when you were training or did this, when did this kind of come about for you? Uh, like maybe uh, nine to ten years ago. Um, or well, I've, I've had longer uh, experiences with uh, you know source and and signs of, of the universe, and uh, I really dove into it like like ten twelve years ago. Okay. And once I really found out by by reading a lot of books uh, that we come from source, uh, and and we are we are just a soul having living in this body having a bodily experience on earth so everything that goes kind of wrong you know it's it's yeah. like it's it's only because you are not you you are not just being you and who is you mm -hmm. you is this beautiful soul yeah so it all has to do with number one your self love Mm -hmm. If you don't have your self love, you know it's you're you're hurting inside. Yeah. And and when you hurt inside, you tend to not at all take good care of yourself. So yeah. You know, if you don't like yourself or or love yourself, oh, why brush my teeth? The teeth are my teeth are ugly anyway. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. about nine about ninety percent of the of my clients come in my office, oh, I have such bad teeth, I have bad teeth. I say, mm -hmm. no, you don't. You don't have bad teeth. Mm -hmm. You know, that's always the uh, experience or the um, pictures uh, clients or many people have of, of themselves. Yeah. And, and so I suppose it's like, you know, in Ireland it's very much like, I'm talking about dentistry here, where our government has, has a mandatory policy of adding fluoridated chemicals into the water to prevent cavities, they say. When you speak to dentists here in Ireland, they're saying, you know, people have a lot of cavities, even though they're doing this. And obviously, you know that it's much more than just the addition of any substance to yeah. prevent cavities. But it's like, yeah, I think it's, it's really seeing the whole level of... Um, taking care is is not it's not necessarily cultivated yet like we're talking about it in our space but as in like on the mainstream level it's mm -hmm. kind of like it's just going to the dentist when you have a problem you know as in like you're waiting till you have a pain or you're not you're not cultivating a practice of like self-love and self-care around your teeth as a way of, of uh, like really taking care of yourself and I think 
you know, where would you say that, um, like what, what's the kind of first point for people to kind of start to change their relationship with their teeth? Because people will write to me and kind of ask me for advice around teeth because I'm talking about like holistic nutrition. Um, from, your, from your kind of perspective, what would you say to somebody who is maybe being recommended because they have cavities or um, they're recommended different topical applications, but just beyond physical care, what would you say to people about how they can really build a better relationship with their teeth? Well, first of all, stand in the mirror and smile to yourself. Smile. Mm -hmm. Hey, then some teeth will show up. Oh, these are my teeth. You know, just turn on a huge light and just check them. Oh, this is a tooth. There is a tooth. Here's a tooth. You know, get get the awareness. It's it's a different level of awareness. This, but you know, you have to get aware that you have tooth. Yeah. You have teeth, right? Yeah. So yeah. Then you need to brush them. Mm -hmm. They need to be clean. Because if you don't clean them, the plaque will stay on the tooth, okay? Yeah. And the plaque uh, contains sugar and bacteria. Yeah. And the bacteria uh, eat the sugar, let's say this very simplistically, they eat the sugar and they um, make from the sugar, they make sour. So the pH is very low, Mm -hmm. And this uh, causes cavities. Okay. So what you want to do is clean because you need to remove the plaque. Mm -hmm. But now this, what I'm going to tell you, is the most important thing. Clean in between your teeth. Yeah. And many dentists don't even tell you this. I, I, you know, experience this every day with new clients, mm -hmm. all bleeding gums, dirty teeth, because they don't know. And I always tell them, you know, you probably, you didn't know, otherwise you would have done this. Yeah. And yes. Because the minute I start to uh, show them how to clean, they will, and they'll come uh, into my office like two weeks later, no more bleeding gums, you know, mm -hmm. speaking only physically. Yeah, and, uh, pink, nice, pink, healthy gums. Yeah. But how do you clean in between your teeth? Well, not with a floss, not with a thread, because this doesn't work. So I usually um, use um, uh, soft picks. You know, you, you can, uh, if you want to more know about it, you can, you can mail me or, or contact me. Uh, yeah. There are different kind of, of, of interdental cleaning so devices, but the, the point is they have to become really stuck in between your teeth, and um, uh, and then it gets all the dirt out. So it should not go very easily. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So are they? I think I think I I think I have them. They are they're like little little brushes. They're like small. They've got like a little thing you can grip your hand. And you, yes. you kind of go in between the yes. teeth, but it's almost like a small little brush, but it can maneuver in between. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've but, seen that. You know, most people think like, if, if it goes very easily, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing well. And I say no, because it's, it, if it goes very easily, you don't remove all the plaque. Yeah, so you need to really get in there, into, in between every single tooth. And yeah, even if it's, even if it's hard to push in. Yes, you have to, it's, it, it all depends on the, the good mechanical cleaning. That's the most yeah. important part. If you do this well, yeah, you won't get cavities. Yeah, yeah. But I think that's where I suppose um, the whole relationship between, say, public health awareness and you know all these different things that are out there currently, and it's very much just like treating it, but kind of passively treating it. You know, like oh, we'll just give you, you know, fluoridated toothpaste or whatever. But it's kind of like there's no awareness around how to properly take care of your teeth. So I'm thinking this is the key to actually, you know, moving away from needing to use things that are, um, you know, potentially health hazardous um, and actually kind of make us very passive and don't encourage us to become self-responsible for our teeth. Yes, very, very much so. Nicely said, yes. Yeah. 
because I'm, I'm a dentist, I hardly ever, ever advise, uh, I don't know, you name it, I don't even know, but I do not advise it. I just, I advise, um, you know, to clean in between your teeth and I show them with what kind of stuff or the, how thick it should be. And, yes. you know, toothpaste, it doesn't matter. Toothpaste mm -hmm. doesn't matter. It's only there for the taste. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm going to say something funny. Uh, um, you know, you can brush with grass. I yeah. don't know, you know? I'm saying something funny. You don't need toothpaste. Yeah. So it's actually, it's, yeah, because people get caught up because somebody wrote me a question recently and they said, oh, I've been advised to use fluoridated toothpaste and they didn't really want to use it. What would you say? And I think you're answering that question. It's not actually the toothpaste. It's actually the proper brushing yeah. and the proper cleaning is actually the foundation of, of creating proper oral health. That's it. That is all. Yeah. And, all and, 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 you know, as you're saying it, I'm thinking... This is so simple, as in it's so ch common sense, and you go, but nobody knows it. It's like everyone has forgotten. Yes, I mean, Sim the simplicity of it. You know, in my office, I go like I, I give clients a mirror, and I show them between every space in between their teeth. I go in between every space, and I show them this brush you need here. The other brush is more, is you know. Um, a little bit thicker you need this there and i'm like that's it that's it you just do this you will not have any more cavities that's why i can handle so many clients i have like three thousand plus clients in the office yeah but because um they're doing the job mm -hmm. yeah it was a completely different culture here I'm, I'm i'm not sure i'm not speaking for all dentists but as in in general that he, we're not we're not brought that level of awareness um so what you're saying is so refreshing but you know also not in, in holland because i uh that's because i see so many new clients mm -hmm. i can say this you know within my my um established um uh, practice i uh, don't see this anymore because people really um know this and do this yeah yeah, because it's really, really what you're teaching people is like a life, a life practice. Yes. As, as opposed to using you as a dentist going in and having a professional service. People are, you, people are, I suppose, engaging with you in a way that it's actually a life practice as opposed to just, I go into Leslie, I get my teeth fixed and then I go away and I forget about it until I go to her six months later for my checkup. It's like, what do you do every day? Is that what matters? Yes. You know, they even... You know, start to get to get some some a, a bit mad about me. You know, they say, "Well, I went to France for three weeks and I didn't take my toothpicks, and it's all your fault." You know, they're we're making jokes of it because <laughs> you know, they've been so uh, yeah. gotten so used to use them, and yeah. when they're on vacation, they they can find it somewhere else, mm -hmm. and they blame now they blame me. Yeah, you know? that, that's yeah. funny. Yeah. That's brilliant. But it's, um, yeah, really, I'm, I love, I love this. It's, um, I hope that, I hope that dentists will listen to this show and, uh, you know, start to spark them and obviously start to look at your work and, and see the kind of perspective that you're taking. Cause I think it's really, I think it's really the way things are going to move, but it's just, it just it takes, um, your voice to become very, very known and heard so people can people can hear it because I think what you're saying is like people on a level already know this but it's like you're reminding them of something that they've forgotten because it's like there's layers that we've we've all gotten like um we've all become so separate from source yes. that we've forgotten all of these things it's like we're just in it we're coming out of like a state of amnesia I feel yes oh very much very yeah. much and we need people like like you for instance uh to become aware Mm -hmm. right and, yeah. and and me with with doing my work it's like uh you know if you want to start to have muscles if you want to go to the gym you need to go to, to the gym if you want to, to become fit yeah. you know you can't just say okay i want to become fit and uh, well tonight i'm going to watch tv you know yeah. you have to do something you know people people 
a client of mine came in my office uh, complaining because he because he didn't clean in between his his teas and you know i had to drill and fill and and he had to pay like 600 euro mm. so and the next year he came in again five cavities and he was starting to get mad and i'm i was like just clean just go clean yeah it's a changing of your behavior just clean well mm-hmm. he finally started doing this because of the money well i don't care because of what yeah. and he he started doing it and now no more cavities i there, wish yeah. I, I wish i had done this before then he says mm, like everything isn't it it's um yeah. it's until it gets painful that we start to sit up and take notice you know, you know sometimes money it must be the, the cause of, of, of changing your behavior for some reason. Yeah, because I think that causes a lot of pain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's like, oh my God, so, you know, a bit of a, a bit of a jolt into the into the system. But um so can you tell me about how did you get involved in the book, The Time to Rise? How how did that come about? Oh, it's um I um started to write my book this year and I had a book proposal and uh, a friend of mine referred me to uh, Andrea Pennington. Mm-hmm. She has her own publishing company, Make Your Mark Global in France. Yeah. And um, well, I sent her my proposal and she was interested um, in the stuff I'm telling you now. So. Yeah. Uh, then so I started to work with her and then um, her Facebook post came by and, and she asked, well, who would like to write a, uh, a book with me? And, you know, at first when you are sharing your things, at first it's, it's kind of scary, right? It's kind of scary. Yeah, big time. <laughs> yes. And yeah. I, at first I was like, okay, am I going to do this? I loved it. I loved it. But, you know, I was kind, kind, kind of scared. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a human being. Yeah, exactly. And um, and then I thought, well, she like she liked the stuff I'm talking about and writing about, so I I jump into it. Mm-hmm. So you know that's and now it's I'm in time to rise with yeah. 29 other authors, 28. 28, amazing. So yeah. is it is it the story of you kind of coming into your your power and into your personal power and yes, yeah. Very- Yes. Yeah, because when I heard the title, I was like, it reminds me of that kind of, you know, that concept of like the phoenix rising from the ashes, mm-hmm. the phoenix rising. Um, so it's, it's oftentimes when things start to destructure for people that you start to then change and transform and rise up in yes. yourself. Yeah. Once, once you finally, finally love yourself, you know, it, it just, life just starts to become amazing mm, yeah absolutely and it and it sounds so um like when you first hear that it's kind of like a far out concept until you actually embody it then it starts to make sense you know like when you start to actually live it really yes. in a grounded yes. solid way yes. yeah yeah but I, I know where you're coming from completely and i think a lot of people will relate to that because i think if they're listening to this they're they tend to be questioning things and looking for answers so I think it's just it's just finding the right information that's to spark you at the time that you're meant to hear it and you know basically take that on board yourself then in your own life Mm -hmm. yeah if if you if you want to change your life uh, you know it it just doesn't um, go from one to the other minutes Mm -hmm. Uh, have to do something about it if you want to if you don't want to it's fine you know yeah Uh, if you if you if you you want to you have to practice you have to practice like going to the gym you have to practice yeah so i did practice every day it's it's in the book time to rise i describe my story uh, about how i did it Mm -hmm. you know yeah Uh, like the same I, I want to stay fit I want to be fit so, you know I, I go to the gym three times a week because I want to stay fit I'm healthy I'm fit yeah I've, I've great muscles mm-hmm. Yoo-hoo. <laughs> yeah exactly well yeah that's it I think that's the missing piece 
for um, for a lot of people. Um, I know for myself even, just that whole thing of practice. You just have to practice. You have to become disciplined. You have to take control. Yeah. Nobody will. Do, nobody can do it for you. You know, you can get no. you can get inspiration and you can hear to other, listen to other people. But ultimately, it's yourself that you, you have to take full ownership of it. Yes. Yeah. Very much so. You Brilliant. have to. You are responsible for your own life and your own thoughts. You are responsible for your own thoughts. Mm -hmm. If you start to get to think neg negative things, go like just you know start to think about something positive. It takes practice. I started with with, with changing three th negative thoughts a day, maybe. Yeah. Tur turning not not the negative into a positive, but turn uh, in, into a new an other thought. Yeah. You know you, you yeah. can you can um, read it in time to rise. Uh, yeah. How it Excellent. Yeah, I can't I can't wait to dig into your chapter. <laughs> yeah, no, it's gonna be really good. And so you're obviously gonna be going deeper into this in your book that you're releasing next year. Yes. Drill, drilling into my emotions. Is that yes. the right title? Yeah. Yes. So yeah, I see, I see it, like I'll include the links for people to follow your work, but I, I see your posts on, on Instagram and I'm like, yeah. oh, you know, it just, yeah, it makes me laugh because I'm like, oh, I just love seeing it. It makes me really happy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's lovely. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's coming. I suppose you're um, a very unique voice in this area. Like I've never heard, I've like, I've read a lot of books and I go to a lot of events and, you know, I listen to a lot of the authors and speakers that are out there in this world of self-development and self-growth so i haven't i haven't actually come across a dentist and a dentist like you so i was like i need to speak to leslie like this is really um really pioneering work that you're doing so thank you for what you're doing oh, thank you very much thank you for your compliments and you know i'm a motivational speaker so uh, whenever somebody wants to hear an awakening dentist um, I'm for hire. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Um, even in the world of um, like conventional dentistry, have you had any support, or is there any kind of opening to what you're saying in in the field of dent dentistry at the moment? Uh, well, I'm. I'm just. I'm not looking really into the field of dentistry because I want to. Um, uh, um, in, in, right now, field of holistic uh, nutrition. Mm -hmm. and all other disciplines I would like to work in, uh, not yeah. only dentistry. Yeah. Uh, um, let me uh, let me um, tell about another client of mine. She came new in my office uh, this uh, last year, and you know I was telling her how, about to clean in between her teeth. And mm -hmm. um, this year I saw her for the second time. Yeah. And she she said to me. Guess what? I said, what? I don't have any more stomach pains. I was, I, I was like, hmm? why? What do you mean? Well, she said, last year I went to the doctor. I went to the uh, internal, internal doctor. Do, do I say this right? Internal. I'm a neurologist. She had seen many disciplines in the hospital. Yeah. She had x-ray she had mri ct scans everything because they had um she had a uh, stomach ache uh, which was not reckon which was not um the cause was not um sure yeah but then she started to clean well in between her teeth and she uh, got cured from her stomach aches wow well, what happened was she did not swallow the blood anymore mm. because her gums used to bleed. Yeah. And she was all cured. You know, all these extra costs and visits and, and appointments at doctor's offices. Mm -hmm. It was all in vain. Yeah. I, actually, I was reading a book because I, I work in the meridians and working with purifying the meridians. So I was just reading stuff this week. And it was actually saying sometimes people are better off actually going to a dentist yes. than they are going to a doctor because often it's actually what's happening in the teeth that's affecting the organs and, and we're, we're not really trained into seeing it like that. We're usually just 
straight to the you know to the physical like medical doctor to see what's going on where sometimes it actually is happening mm -hmm. in the mouth see so i would like to 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 come speak and 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 other uh disciplines um uh um you know what i mean and not only at the dental uh yeah in in the dental field but other fields in, yeah. in your field in in uh, other holistic fields you know everywhere everywhere and yeah. what i was thinking is that uh for instance at, at, at hay house you know at the mm -hmm. uh, publishing company in America yeah um, there are all doctors who have written the books but no dentist you yeah. know yeah no dentist and dentistry is it oral health is so important so mm -hmm. important because all the bacteria uh, accumulate in your mouth yeah yeah exactly and and how it's lying on, say, certain meridians, like it could be on your liver meridian, causing problems. You know, like you're just not knowing that if you're not seeing it through that lens, which yes, hopefully people, when they, when they get your book, that they'll be able to start to kind of bring this in as like, oh, this is an awareness that I need to actually fully invest in, as yes. opposed to, oh, yeah, my mouth, I just kind of forget about that, <laughs> as if that's not like happening. Yes. Uh, yeah. There has, has, have been a lot of, lot of root canal treatments done. Mm -hmm. for, no, for the wrong reason because yeah. people are stressed they clench they you know mm -hmm. it, and and clenching is uh, cause uh, nerve nerve damage yeah mm. and if, well, yeah go on if you don't recognize the clenching as a mm -hmm. dentist you know you do a root canal for like 400 euros yeah and, and when the client comes back i still have this pain yeah yeah so yeah, so it's like, yeah, we're, we're, we're missing out on a lot of opportunities for changing really, isn't it? Like what you're saying is like, instead of just coming in and um, just getting rid of the problem, fixing the, the pain or getting rid of the cavity, we're missing the opportunity. Like what's the lesson in this for yes. us at this particular time? Yes. And you know yeah. we could we, we can use them as opportunities. So I think bringing that into it is like wow, that's amazing. Because I I would see that's how I've moved my own self in terms of nutrition. Instead of before, I'd be like, oh, I need to fix this and give this supplement and give these things. Whereas now it's like, well, why is this happening? Yes. Like, let's ask the question. Like, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. And you know, once you start asking, you start to open up to yes. the answers coming. Yes, but um, uh. But as a dentist, you have to stay open for this because uh, when I talk to other people, not my clients, mm -hmm. they're like, can you, can you talk to a dentist? Can, can you speak with a dentist? Because you're with your mouth open. And I'm like, well, I give room for people to talk. Yeah, that's, that's where it's different. Yeah, because usually I think it's like sit down, you don't speak, you know, it's very, it's very disconnected. You don't tend to connect, like you don't tend to connect with a dentist. Mm -hmm. Whereas I would imagine, you know, your practice, you're actually allowing that connection happen. That's, yeah. that's probably the most important thing, isn't it? It is. It, it's the yeah. number one thing because I see myself as very privileged to work in your mouth. You just, you lie there in that chair, you know, totally uh, sort of out of control how many people feel, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'm telling you, I'm telling my clients, you're not out of control. You're the boss. I'm just a guide. I'm just a tour guide. I'm your tour guide. I yeah. give you a mirror and I'm telling you what I see and what we can do about it. Mm, that's amazing. I wish that you were my dentist now. <laughs> After saying that, I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, because it's, um, it is, yeah, it's a total different paradigm, like what you're, what you're doing. So it's, um. It's, uh, I'm so excited. Um, so have you any idea of when your book is out or will we just kind of watch this space for when, when, when is the release date? Uh, I don't know yet, but 2018. It 2018. Will, yes, it will be there. Yes. Wonderful. Well, I'll, I'll follow up with you when, when it's out anyway. And we'll make sure to do lots of um, promotions and, and uh, really kind of deliver this out there because I think it's going to be really good Tool, toolkit for everyone like for myself I'll be getting it because I think I'm, I'm the whole time expanding my range of, of how I'm becoming self-governing 
and mm-hmm. self, self-sovereign and taking care of my own self, not expecting someone else to do it for me. But um, so having, having your knowledge and that perspective, it's a reminder to also invest time and in practice taking care of the teeth and you know, all that goes with it, that it's, you have to become very intentional behind that, I think, don't you, to really engage with it. Yes, you have to really, you know, engage with yourself engage with yourself you no know, because many people think you know the other one the other person will will fix you you are not here to be fixed on earth yeah. you, you came here whole mm-hmm. but many people f- forgot we all have to remember yeah absolutely wonderful and, and with the remember you know remembering can happen by you know reading some books some special kind of books or maybe meet you or meet uh, i don't know deepak chopra or you know find the bible or you know and then really dive into this and so yeah. you know so you can start to remember we come from source yeah yeah it's really it's like for me the message is like from what you're saying anyway is um it's like it's taking the journey back home to our own self yes that's it that's the journey yeah yeah Yeah. and i think when you when you see it like that it uh a lot of the distractions a lot of the noise can fall away you know (laughs) yes it's too noisy out there it's too noisy yeah massively so where can we find you so what's what's your website that um people can find you on it's www.theawakeningdentist.com. Yeah. Uh, currently, uh, I'm building a new website with all this information I just gave you. And mm-hmm. um, you can mail me at uh, leslie at theawakeningdentist.com. Yeah. And I have my f- own Facebook page. Leslie van Oostenbrugge, the Awakening Dentist. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll include links on the article below anyway, so everyone can just click and go find you straight away. Yes, and I'm very, you know, open to questions and I will answer your questions. And uh, I, I would love to do this because I, I love to, have, to help people uh, find their way back home. Mm, beautiful wonderful so thank you so much leslie for your time it's been an absolute privilege and i can't wait to have your book in my hands uh, in both of them and yes. uh yeah and also i'm reminded by you to take better care of my teeth even though i do but i'm reminded again that it's a life it's a practice that is worth spending the time every day and yeah so thank you so much thank you very much for having me thank you